everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Katarina. Today is going to be my 6 till or 6 by 26 finale or final, how do you say it? Today is my birthday, the 2nd of June is when I'm filming and I'm turning 26 today, hooray! So I started this project pan back in February and my goal was to finish 6 products by this day. Today I'm going to share with you how I did in this project and I also want to share after I have talked to you about the products I want to tell a little bit my experience and what I learned and how I feel about project panning right now. I start this project because I did have very bad project panning experience last year. It was a complete fail. It was my first ever project and I did 17 in 2017 or I tried to do it that and I really failed. I think I used up maybe a couple of products but then I just gave up and I started this project after seeing a project panning video from LS and I was really inspired to start project panning again and I decided to choose items that are quite easy to me and this is now actually my first ever project pan finale. So I am really happy and I feel really proud for myself that I actually did take this project to the end because previously I totally would have quit. The first product that I actually shared in my update video that I used up was the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and it was in shade Fur Neutral I believe. That is in my trash bin, I don't have it here right now, but I actually did get a little bit more use out of it because I did take the stopper off, I got this amazing idea from Andrea Matilano and I did get a little bit more use out of that concealer, but now it is gone, it is in my trash bin, I will share it in my empties, but that's the product I used up. Another product that I almost used up, there is just the tiniest bit left, is this Lumine Arctic Glow Lip Oil. This is now almost gone and it's getting to be a little bit annoying to use. I cannot get it so easily away from here and it's really old so I really don't want to even use it anymore. I have been using it a lot the last couple of months. This is something I like to wear on work days but I'm getting a little bit bored with it. I want to move to my lip glosses, tinted lip balms, different things I have and I'm very happy to throw this away. And the reason I wanted to use this up is because Lumene is a brand that they are in Logical Harmony's grey area list and I really don't trust them being cruelty free so I don't want to use Lumene anymore and this was my last item from Lumene. Then I do have here a couple of palettes and my goal was not to use up the whole palette but some shades from there. So first is this ABH contour kit. From here my goal was to use up completely the shade Fawn that is the middle contour shade here. When I used it it broke and then it was so difficult to use that I just tossed it. So for me a product is not worth repressing if I absolutely don't love it and it was I was getting a little bit tired of it and I'm happy to see it gone off my collection. There is some contour products that I prefer over this one. This vanilla shade I had used up before my project pan so that's why it's gone already and my goal was also during this project to hit pan on this banana shade and this java shade. This banana I have been using now to set my eyeshadow primer and this java shade I have actually been using to contour my double chin. It's very good shade on there. I don't think this works very well on my face because I do have warm undertones and this powder has very cool almost like plummy undertones so I really don't think it suits to my face that well. But here under my chin I think it's a perfect shade. I think I'm still going to keep this in my collection. I really would like to use up these completely now that I have found good purposes for them. But these shades I will not even bother using up or heating pan because I really don't like them. Then I did have my BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette in this project pan and my goal was to use up completely these two highlighters that are the lighter ones and as you can see I have used them up completely. Especially this second highlighter was like my favorite. I really did love the highlighter. It's so good. I think the Becca Opal would be something similar to this one. So I need to buy something like that. 
Also, this palette is now my Pandas palette for 2018. I did start it back in April and I can link down below my project panning playlist and also my Pandas palette playlist. Then there is a couple of products in this project that my goal was to use them up and I have used them almost every day, but still I could not use them up. So I learned that with some products it really takes a long time to use them up. So I'm still going to keep these in my collection and once they are gone I'm going to toss them then. So the first one is this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I really haven't been using any other eyeshadow primers for last four months but still there is eyeshadow primer left here. Today I actually noticed with this one that when I did put this to my lids this applicator did not pick as much product as it used to but still I think I can get some use out of it. I really do enjoy this eyeshadow primer. Unfortunately it's not vegan but once it is gone I think I'm going to buy from Urban Decay their anti-aging eyeshadow primer because that is actually vegan. And then a product I could not finish up is this Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Pro Box. So when I started this project I did have quite much left in both of these powders and also this wax. This wax is now gone, it looks a little bit dirty and messy, I should clean it up, but there is really not product anymore left. And now there is only powders and I'm happy for it. I did use this kind of like pomade type of thing, I did mix the powder and the wax, but now I use only the powders with brow pencil. So I'm really happy the wax is gone because it was really quite much work to use it and mix the pomade. I much rather just take a pomade or then I want to use a pen. Okay, so those were all of the products and I must say that I am actually really happy I did take up this challenge and without LS I would never have done it. So LS is definitely one of my favorite YouTubers because without her I would still feel, feel probably very negative about project panning. I really did feel negative towards project panning before starting this because my experience was so bad and I really didn't want to watch project panning videos. I was like, I don't care, I just want to collect makeup and sometimes I feel I have been buying too much and then I get anxiety about it and I think project panning and thinking carefully what I buy really helps me to feel better about my makeup collection and I definitely want to keep going on with project panning. I want to use up stuff I have bought. I just don't want to collect stuff and to let it expire. When I started YouTube back back in days in 2015, I think it was, I did videos then in Finnish and I started just earlier this year in English, but when I did start in 2015, in Finnish, I wanted a huge makeup collection. I remember I watched the Jaclyn Hills makeup room and makeup collection video and I was like, I want to have that kind of makeup collection. No way would I want that anymore. I don't want to collect makeup just for the sake of having it. Like, obviously, if there is an interesting product, I want to buy it. I'm not going to be a minimalist ever, probably. But I want to get use out of my makeup. And I think project panning has been really fun experience for me. And it really teaches me what I do like and what I don't like. I don't know, I have just finished my first project pan, so my opinions may change. But I'm definitely going to continue this and I have been thinking to start new projects now in June. I think I'm going to do the project 10 pen roulette and I think I'm going to do it as a rolling project and maybe it will become series in my channel that go through years, I hope. And maybe I can start some other project as well. Currently I do have going on the Panda palette 2018 and as I said, I do have it going with this BH Cosmetics Curly Bible Palette and also I do have now going on this Project Polis. That project is also a rolling project, so every time I use up a nail polish, I do pick another nail polish. I really don't know what else to say. I think this has been so good experience for me and I definitely will continue it. You will most definitely see more and more project panning here in my channel. Also, Another thing that is big in my channel is obviously cruelty free and vegan beauty. I think my channel is currently both of those, cruelty free and vegan beauty and project panning. 
and I hope if one of those things is not for you, maybe another thing is for you. I really think that is all I wanted to say today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please put thumbs up and see you in my next video. Bye bye.